And as President Trump wraps up his trip to Japan, leaders of both countries have praised each other as having an unshakable bond. Yet the two sides still do not agree on North Korea and its missile tests. President Trump says he's not concerned with recent North Korea short-range missile testing. There have been no nuclear tests. There have been no ballistic missiles going out. There have been no long-range missiles going out. And I think that someday we'll have a deal. North Korea short-range missiles are well within reach of Japan, where the president is taking part in a four-day state visit. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe called the test regrettable, and the president's own national security advisor, John Bolton, says they violate U.N. sanctions. My people think it could have been a violation, as you know. I view it differently. I view it as a man. Perhaps he wants to get attention. And perhaps not. Who knows? On the topic of Joe Biden, President Trump sided with North Korean dictator Kim Jong-un, who echoed the president's own words in calling the former vice president a low IQ individual. Well, Kim Jong-un made a statement that Joe Biden is a low IQ individual. He probably is, based on his record. Uh, I think I agree with him on that. Overall, Mr. Trump and Prime Minister Abe say the trip has been productive. The president says the two countries could have a new trade agreement by August. Our goal is to reduce our trade deficit with Japan, remove trade barriers and barriers of all kinds. And Prime Minister Abe says he is willing to act as a mediator between the U.S. and Iran, something the president says he's open to. Earlier, the president became the first world leader to meet with Japan's newly installed emperor, Naruhito. And he took in a sumo wrestling match over the weekend. President Trump is visiting a naval base tonight to meet with sailors before heading back home to Washington. And look